welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be all about how we plan an outing when I when when you have CP. So, so some of these will be holiday um holiday things that I talk about. Some of these things will be everyday things I talk about. Um. So let's get into it. And if you are, if you see me looking down at the ground, I'm looking at my phone. It's right here. You can see it. I have it on my uh, notepad. So, and if I have Chris, if I ask for help, Kristen's right here to read something to me. So, um, so the very first thing you have to think about is which wheelchair I am going to bring because this wheelchair that I'm currently sitting in is 300 and like 80 to 50 pounds not including my weight uh, so yeah we usually bring like um travel wheelchair if you guys haven't seen that video go watch it I will link it in the cards and it will be on my on my end screen as well. Because that one's lighter so I can it's easy for me to get in and out of places because my book my parents or my brother can lift it easier. Okay, number two wouldn't be Oh shaping my legs because we all have to be prepared for any time, like shaving my legs ahead of time, so we have to do it either the night before or the um or a couple of days before because not every not every place is wheelchair accessible for me to use in the bathroom um or some people or some places might have the shower. Or a shower and that's just not doable when you're handicapped. Number three, waxing my eyebrows. Fun, fun for me. Um, then it's usually I'm joking. It's not fun. Um, but yeah, usually we do that a couple days before or the night before. Probably because it takes. Some um, somebody else's time and my time. Well, not my, my time's not that important, but my mom has helped me with that, or yeah, my mom has helped me with that. That's why we have to plan ahead of time for that one. For any time that we go somewhere, like for Christmas, I'm gonna we paint my nails, which we right now we use dip um nail powder. Um, Rebel, which you guys will see in the, I don't know when this is going to be posted, but you guys will see that soon. So, because we can, with the, with the, us using dip nail powder, dip nail powder, it stays on my nails longer. So, for Christmas, we go, now you might be wondering, why do you have time to really just take a bath? But no, ma'am, because we have, um, we, for Christmas, we go to my grandparents' house, um, and we usually stay there until midnight or like close to the midnight hour. So we have to plan ahead of time when our when my bath is gonna happen. So we have to do a bath before and after and usually my bath isn't for Christmas for when you go to my grandma's is until the next day. Not the night of now because everybody is so tired we're like we'll just go to bed and do it tomorrow. So then my sixth thing is picking out my clothes. For Christmas, or for, yeah, this one is again, 
like for like holidays, like um, like for Christmas, like I said in the previous one, we go to my grandparents, but we're there until all day, so we have our dresses for the girls, nice clothing for the boys, but we have to think about. Also, we bring plain clothes, we're just comfy clothes. Now that we're not um, little kids anymore to play in and stuff. My seventh one is um, dresses. If the dresses are too short, you cannot wear them because nobody wants to be flashed um, on that particular day. And um, I cannot really wear nylons either because it makes it more complicated to go to the restroom. If I like wear anything less sequins, it like gets all over my chair and it makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, shoes. That's another thing. Shoes. A huge thing. Shoes. So, I'm not going to show you my feet. If you want to see my feet, go watch my pedicure video because that shows you all, all about it. But anyway, what type of shoe? Who's who's putting it on? Because that adds stress. Um, like boots. Boots, for example, take forever to put on me. Like fashion boots. Um, because a little lip, but it takes my feet forever to like get in the dance issue and um whoever is putting them on me rather than be my mom or my dad so patience when we are particularly 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 talking about shoes in general whoever mm -hmm. is taking putting any shoe on me needs to be patient because then I don't get stressed out because when I get stressed out, my muscles get really tight. And so patience is key when it comes to that si situation. Number nine is straws. And you may think that uh, that I can lift. You be like, what on? But in reality, my straws are my, how I drink. You can see right right now how this cup doesn't typically have a straw in it, but with my Becky straw, we can just add it in there. Um, here, while the camera is on. Just like that, where is? So, number 10 is we typically forget this one the night before, but we try to remember my special needs spoon and fork, because you have to charge those up beforehand. Now, I just want to make a clear clarification. Feeding myself in general and using my special needs fork makes me a little tired, so I do not use it for the whole time we are at my grand any place. But we do try to bring that just to make my life a little easier and the person that taught me a little easier. So bring that up. And I have a video on that, so I will link that in the cards as well. If you guys have not seen that, go watch it. This one is optional, but I also have cups that we bring that again has the, has the straw in it. But... The cups that we bring, yeah, they're the ones that can't spill, and they already have a straw in them, and they keep it cold. So that's always a plus. Okay, my portable ramp, and my little um lip thingy for doors. My portable ramp. Now, I made a video on that too, so if you want to see it in action, go see it. It will put in the cards as well. The wedge that we have for the doorways makes it a lot smoother for my wheelchair to go over it. Number 
thirteen is my triple we all do if we bring my triple we all trip which we get I'll link them down on the card. We also have to bring cushions. One for my seat and there's one for my back, but that can that stays strapped on at all times. We need to find hip guides. Um, hip guides for that wheelchair because, as you can see, my wheelchair, this wheelchair has hip guides so that my my legs don't go out and so they don't have to worry about it. But because either I have to do it or somebody else has to do it. But my thing with me getting hip guides, the ones that I've seen, are not me for a petite person like I am. So we think we're going to make some, which that might be a true, a chore for me and Kristen down the road. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, supporting me through this journey. Goodbye and see you next time.